Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Germany in the Auto Resolve campaign, episode number 9, I believe. I think we launched 8 and that was the last one, maybe we already launched 9 and this is 10. And it doesn't matter because the most important thing is, since the last episode we did this Rule the Waves tournament and it was awesome. First of all, I had the voice and the time, really, for an hour and a half and the stream went 4 hours. That is up on the channel, so if you go to the, if you came from the video list, you probably saw it there. There's a Rule the Waves tournament. Um, there's two exact thumbnails, I mean the exact same thumbnail used twice. The later one, the more recent one, so the one closest to the top if you're sorting as usual by most recent release. Um, that's the one with the stream. It's four hours long, and I did timestamp it, so if you're interested in seeing how the tournament went, we had a lot of participants I was extremely happy with it. Um, the but one of the best things about it is I got really good feedback on the simulator. So um, one of the things that we were doing, obviously, it was a sudden death, like to the whatever. Just everyone should completely eliminate each other. So we have these settings very, very, very low. But it was kind of interesting to see how it worked with ships that were min-max designed to beat the simulator gave me a lot of good feedback. I want to get that same kind of feedback, maybe not so severe, we'll have them flee. Still, I don't want to flee ships which are, I mean, fleets which are too mismatched to fight each other. So we'll set this, if the fleet is oh, too much over double the enemy, the opposing one just to retreat. However, if they get into a battle, we're gonna kind of force some pretty I would say we're going to force some pretty intense combat here. We're going to allow them basically to fight it out a little bit longer than usual, which means that my conservative results may no longer be appropriate. I mean, conservative results may not apply in this situation. Um, I don't know if I had this up last time, but this newest version of the simulator, it does allow you to load. So you can see this game four currently when I load it. That means that it will automatically sim the latest combat file in Game 4's directory, and this is the save game that I'm using for the Germany campaign. It's Game 4. If you then decided, okay, instead of like basically copying and pasting the executable into every diff different directory, it now runs from the top level, just the save game directory. So games, in my case, rule the waves slash save. That's my directory. And you pop it in here, Pop the rule wave sim any, which is just a settings file. I mean, if you, this is exactly 100% of the content. <laughs> but it gives me the option to add more things. I'm also planning to open up at least um, the some of the ship combat stuff. Not open, like full open source or anything. like. But I, I plan to release the code, or at least show the code, and ask for feedback. Anyway, so that's all getting ahead of ourselves. Three minutes of talking about nothing. We have a war to fight with France. So we'll be using this new simulator, which does not include any of the improvements which I planned um, based on the results of the tournament, which I've showed a lot. For example, conning tower armor for some reason is just way too effective. Like for the for the weight for for its weight, it's much better not to use it. <laughs> I mean it's much better if you're using the simulator, you should just max out conning tower armor anytime you can. So interesting. Okay, anyway, um we have a lot of money. Didn't really realize that that was the situation. We have, what are these? Yeah, three, 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 threes. Those are pretty good. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to design a design which is like what we saw in the, in the tournament. I wanted to design a very low armored, very, uh, like a turret farm is what the, the nickname they're lovingly given. So wow, we're starting this episode off fantastic. <laughs> We've evaded a nom. It's good. Now, hold off. Damn it. Anyhow, starting off this episode terrible. Four points is not enough to get a nom. So crap. Well, we can take both of their African holdings. Which seems to make sense to me. If we want to paint the map, this is one way of doing it. So we'll do it. Really wish we hadn't. I mean, we were blockading them. Everything was good. Now our budget is actually still high enough that we can do stuff. 
Interesting. Okay, let's go over here and see, just, do we have foreign tonnage issues? I'm very surprised we don't. I'm pretty sure we don't have that many people in the Indian Ocean. No, wait, what's that? Yeah, Indian Ocean is where we need them. So I guess two of these Gephions are enough. It's 1924. This is probably gonna be the last episode. So I mean, I because we have Rule the Waves releasing tomorrow. Um, this is it's just after midnight on Sunday night. So it's now Monday morning, I guess, early for me. And I'm gonna be doing Rule the Waves 2 stream on Tuesday, May 14th at 2.30 p.m. Pacific time, 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 9.30 p.m. GMT. So come check out Rule Waves 2 on the stream. I don't even know, I, I fully planned originally to do um, Germany for my first full campaign, but I don't know for the stream if I'm going to be doing that or not. What I suspect I'll be doing is for the stream doing a Japanese playthrough starting with the Washington Naval Treaty, 1920 start, but I'll also be starting as soon as I get, basically this won't be released until this will be something that gets released onto the channel, so I'll be doing two playthroughs concurrently. Um, I'll be doing the Japanese stream, but also uh, the German, um, what's it called? Full playthrough starting from 1900. Because that's that sounds fun. Maybe. I don't know. You guys can give me feedback on this video in the comment section as usual. I'll have to propose it to some other people. Anyways, we that's kind of one of the funny things is we did fight that war with ships in, in reserve. They started in reserve. I don't know if they were in reserve the entire war, but we just didn't care, I guess. So probably explains why our money is so high. But I wanted better than 15-inch guns. Before we ended up... Um, oh, they took North Korea. Interesting. Yeah, it's nice... Okay, Japan has actually jumped immediately into this the spotlight of a nation that I would actually like to go to war with now. We can get three colonies from them. Yep, we'll take the technology. Oh, very good. Secondary. So we now have director firing on light cruisers. Unfortunately, that means we should be upgrading a lot of ships. I don't really want to, but hey, now that we're not at war, let's go ahead and maximize this. Hey, I didn't even have to close the game and go back, so it's very nice. Not really sure how to what the plan of this is because I do want to develop a turret farm, but man, we just don't have any time. Russia alliance? Heck no! Let's call for an international disarmament. Damn it! That would have been awesome. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want Japan to take our stuff anymore because we want to go to war with them. Which means, ironically, we need to move all our battleships, our pre-war dreadnoughts or pre-war battleship, I should say. The old ones. We'll want to move all our old ships back. Improve counter-flooding. Sounds important. Whole construction. Hmm. Well, good luck with that. Low armor, but hey, that's what I wanted to try and make, is extremely low armor. Now, the thing I guess the simulator, I mean, besides conning tower, one of the big things it doesn't do is model torpedoes. But the other thing I really want to implement is a turret flash fire system where if your turret armor is too low, you could just lose your ship instantly. So I think that would be really important. And we will sell this to them because we don't care about the French. The game is over. Okay, we'll play on. It's a hard cut off at 1950, but that's fine. British government is extremely upset over our recent intelligence activities. Our technology. Okay, damn it. Stop taking our technology. Good, it's over. Fantastic, we need that technology. Quadruple turrets, fantastic. We're gonna need that because we are gonna want to go with quadruple turrets for our turret farms, right? Yes, by all means. Uh, yes, we need that. Just cruising along here. So at some point we are gonna have to, oh boy. Gosh, let's rebuild these. I think we'll just do nothing to them. They are still good at taking out destroyers. I mean, sorry, uh, cruisers, normal cruisers. I think it might be worth it. OK, 
Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, and they can even have director on the secondaries. That's it. Yeah, this is good. I think this will be a. I think this is a reasonable investment because it's just cheap. It's pretty cheap to get what we want. And damn it, that did affect our foreign tonnage. That's fine. What I'm going to do is set. Who doesn't need to be upgraded immediately? I'm just going to start setting people to foreign stations. They're not actually going to go to the foreign stations. I don't care. Like the Elsass. Elsass. Where are you sitting? You need upgrades. Damn it, anyhow. Everyone needs upgrades. Okay, well, let's just do it this way. Every single one of our battleships is going to be set to. Because I don't need these guys to be upgraded, right? These guys are all going to foreign stations. And that's set, so everything else can just start getting upgraded. This is just the easy way of doing it. And the first thing first, we need to get our minesweepers to be upgraded. Which is not actually upgrading, but just doing the same thing. Be interesting to see, I've seen a few questions asked about this too, how um, Rule the Waves 2 deals with anti-submarine warfare because it's kind of just a pain in the butt in this one not really sensible doesn't really like I'm not happy with it basically I would say okay fire control is not the best short range yeah but I don't think there's anything we can do about that minus eight okay no I'm sure we can't do anything about that what the heck oh actually we could drop the mines and get that and then that actually gives it more ammunition I think we're going to do that. So the V3 is going to become a little bit less useful, but central range finder, how much is central firing? Just take it right back down. Okay, I'm kind of, this is obviously very low ammo, but central firing is pretty good. This director would be amazing, but I think that one actually, yeah, that is completely out of our reach. Honestly, we need a, a new, we really do need a new destroyer anyway, but this is this is going to be good enough. So we'll rebuild all of these. Eh, it's a bit expensive. We, we need a new destroyer though. Goodness gracious, do we need a new destroyer. So let's just look at that right away. Yeah, we're up to, a, what, 1100? We don't have 1200? No, we do. Why would you not build a 1200 then? What's our limit? We have 1,500 available. Well, this is funny. In my simulator, in my tournament, I should say, I get I gave people an option between 1,000, 1,200, and 1,500, and some people chose 1,000, some people chose 1,200. I think for good reason. That I think that a lot of times you can get away with a working design. You don't need to necessarily have those better ones. Boy, that's frustrating that we don't have any quality, like good quality guns yet, though. So you know what? Forget the destroyer for now. Um, whoops. I actually want to start replenishing these Gephions. So, just rebuild all of them. Let's get Director. Wow, it's very costly. Okay, 125. I can handle that. Quality negative one. My god, these ships, man. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think we still do it this way. Hmm. Interesting that we still don't have better... <laughs> Time's not legal. Oh, okay. We're not allowed to have secondaries for less than armored crews. Okay, that's fine. So basically just upgrade improved director. Uh, that's fine with me. That will make them a little bit better. And foreign tonnage does not get affected. That's fantastic to see. What about these Medusas? Well, they're all in Northern Europe anyway, so they're obviously not doing anything for foreign tonnage. Improved director. That's a lot of... Oh, God. 105. Not a lot of ammunition, but it will make them pretty powerful. Yeah, I think we'll do it. I think we're going to do it. They will, they will be pretty strong, at least until they run out of ammunition. Okay, so next up we have the Elsass class. 
just get improved director, I guess. Is that really that expensive just to get improved director? It's a very expensive upgrade, geez. <sighs> well, I guess that's it then. We've got to do it. Oh, yes. Okay, so there is a secondary benefit to our secondaries. Yeah, rebuild, rebuild. Next. The Molka. I really hope we don't go to war. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they did catch us slightly off guard. Every single ship that we own, except for a few old battleships, was in the repair yards. Not good. Oh, so good. The Moltka is actually already set. And we do have 14... Oh, USA. 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 Well, we don't need to even upgrade these then. I suppose that they're... No, they're 1919. What the heck? And we only have three of them. Okay, so let's rebuild them in the local yards. This shouldn't take anything to rebuild. So let me do a rebuild and pretend to do nothing. 2500. Okay, good. So local yards and improved director. That's true. And save. Okay, very good. Rebuild those three. Thankfully, they still have quality one guns. Hanovers, what do they need? Uh, these guys are set. These are our newest. Which makes sense. They were built in 1924. And it's only 1926. I mean, the game just ended, right? So 1925 just passed us by. The Wittelsbach will... This is, I don't know, it's kind of an ancient design. But it is good for at least strategic points. And we did get quality one 14-inch guns, I guess, at some point. So that's nice. Improved director... Um, just doing nothing with it then, really. Saving it and rebuilding it so it gets basically a fresh coat of paint. Ah, yes, and the secondary director. That's right, that's right. Okay, good. Okay, good. So we have, like, you know, almost no ships at all. And despite all those rebuilds, we actually still have a positive monthly balance, which does scream to me that we do need to build more ships. Yet, I really, really want a turret farm. And I don't... Well, I mean, the game is pushing it here as well. But I want the higher rate of fire ones. I really want to see how they do. So let's just wait. Oh my god. By all means. Okay, I was just spamming enter. Uh, Italy. I don't care about Italy. I don't care about going to war with them, but neither do I really want to cooperate. Lower tensions. Yeah, so let's do it this way. Any good? My god. Um, yes. Yes, we do want better five inch guns. How did you know? Now we can actually make a, a destroyer. So this is the first order of business then. I wanted a turret farm, I got a destroyer. This destroyer will be 1500 because you do need that for five inch guns. I believe that, oh, you can get away with five inch guns, huh. Wow, actually this 1400 might be the, the way to go then. Do we have quadruple tubes? We do. We can really get away with that. I just don't understand. I, we're, we're having four. Okay, first of all. Oh, I don't want to blow it. I want to do it, though. Can we get this uh, super line? They don't have it, right? I, I don't think they would have it, but they don't have F center line superimposed. Okay, so F superimposed. Single turret. Good. It still works. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's amazing. Apparently, you can put conning tar tower armor on these things. doesn't really make sense to me speed oof that's a lot oh that's too much damn it yeah I think we don't need this tonnage well I can get more torpedoes D, F, G, H. 
I. Two each? It's too many. I have a feeling that if I get one more center line, it'll be too many. Only one way to find out. Yeah, but you know what? We don't need this AF superimposed. Yeah, I'm, let me shift this one a little bit. Get R instead. That's nice. So this is a good design. We have 12 torpedoes, which is fantastic. We have three five inch guns, which is fantastic. We have conning tower armor for free somehow. I don't know why, but it's, <laughs> it's a bug I found that not I found, Finnish Jaeger found. Hats off to him. I don't know what else to do with it that would give us, well, okay, I know one thing we can do with it. We can give it mines. Can we give it torpedo protection? No. <laughs> I had to ask. Flat demo on timer, it's all or nothing. Which does that change anything? It shouldn't actually because there's no armor. <laughs> okay, then we just give it weight. Yeah, we just give it some weight. I mean some ammo. 160. That's good. Fantastic. This is a wonderful looking ship. I really am happy with this destroyer. Very, very, very happy with it. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. Okay. Anything I'm missing? I don't think so. Let's save and build. Build me many of them. Many, many of them. Build me more. That's not enough. Build me more. That's enough. We do want enough money to build a big ship still, but... Those will be pretty cool. Okay. Kasuga Armored Cruiser. Interesting that they're building armored cruisers. It's not like there's a naval treaty to limit us. Uh, yes. 10 inch guns. Who's using the 10 inch guns? Are armored cruisers? Yeah, but we're not actually going to upgrade them. And they're the, they're the only ones using the 10 inch guns. I still think it's worth it, by the way, because it's always better to be using the best guns. Um, I mean, sorry, to buy the best guns just to prevent them from being the guns that you get when the naval technology, the naval gun technology is triggered. So, still useful to do. Let's get a lot of these guys to reserves just to save us a little bit of extra money. Especially the old ones, like the Moltka, what are you at? Not a bad design. Reminds me a little bit of the Bismarck, if these were pinned together. Although much, much heavier armor on the Bismarck. Deck was what, five? Anyways, let's get the Moltkas into reserve. Maybe the Elsass into reserve as well. I think I am going to put them all in reserve. We'll just keep the Hanovers in fresh fighting condition, and then whatever new Dreadnought I eventually make will also be in fresh fighting condition. But All right, so these guys need upgrades somehow, which means we need to set... Well, this is not too bad. We just need to set all the Medusas to foreign stations. And we'll see how many Gephions we need to add. And we need a new light cruiser, too, so maybe we build that next. But then it would have to be 5-inch guns because we don't have quality 1-6-inch guns. Her interesting. Anyways, let's see what we want to do with this one. We did take the time to get director on it. Might as well get improved director. It's going to be a kind of valid fighting thing, especially with... I mean, this is a reasonable fighting ship, especially with director on the secondaries. I'd give it one chance in three. Too bad we can't put mines on it, because <laughs> it does have extra weight. Just doing nothing. Oh, never mind. We found some usage for it. Just more ammo. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, we have the money for it. Let's just do it. Rebuild. We can rebuild him. And there's the Worth glass. They're all together now, which is nice to see. I don't know why they got so intermixed. 
Um, whatever, sure. Or I guess I said no. Never mind. Strength and oh, well, we're not gonna play that long, so strength and navy. And again, we need to build this final dreadnought turret farm, but I guess we're gonna have to do it with. Oh God, the moment I do this, we're gonna get better guns. Sixteen! Yeah, we did it! We did it! We waited! Oh my god, I'm so happy. The game has finally broken. We broke it. They couldn't wait. They were like, okay, fine, we'll give them the 16-inch guns. Damn it, just give it to them. Alright, so, here we go. We're going nuts. What I want to do is armor this thing for a ship firing 16-inch guns at it. So I'm basically going to armor it to protect it from secondaries and light cruisers. Which means that we need seven inches of belt and we'll put a minimum of two inches of deck to keep it from having any splinters so seven belt and two decks so this is not going to be the full turret farm that we we've seen but it will be pretty bad now the exceptions are going to be turrets i don't want to lose a ship due to bad turrets so we're going to give them actually a fair bit of armor there secondary is down to two as usual so it's just going to be very light on armor, and I'm going to give it a lot of torpedo protection because honestly I do. No, this is supposed to be, by the way, I'm just dead. No, Dreadnought. All right, take the speed down to something like 22, maybe 21, because we're going to want a lot of guns. We can clear these turrets already. I'm just going to do a whole bunch of new ones. We'll do 100 as our minimum. Probably 100 is going to be enough. Um, I do want to add broadside capability. Oh, actually, these are liabilities, and I mean, they are liabilities. You can get submerged, you know, mounts failing and all that. We're going to put 5-inch guns because I have the quality 1. Put a lot of them in double turrets. Can we do triples? Why not, right? Illegal. Okay, it needs a turret. What do you mean it needs a turret? Have 7 lines superimposed. Forward. And here we go. Midships. Forward, center line, I that's not the C. Yeah, so there it is. Quadruple. It's doable. So right now it looks just hideous, but also, you know, by the way, kind of funny that this is still functional. <laughs> but anyways, it's six. Right now it's only six inch guns, but this is legal? No. Do not do anything to it. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, wow. <laughs> well, we didn't quite get there. <laughs> I'm going to six. I'm going to six. I mean, I don't think we're going to close to 5,000, so we're going to drop the belt down. It doesn't even make it. It's 1,000. That's amazing. Can we go to quadruples? Does it even save you weight? No, not really. It does save you some weight. Okay, what does this look like? This is so hideous. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to 18. I'm going to use triples. So this is actually a sensible thing. Upgrade. Okay, that, that, that kind of... I just somehow like this. I like the triples on the... So how are we going to make this work? We could just delete one of the turrets. We could delete, for example, this one that's in the middle of my superstructure. Or if I wanted to, I could just delete this one um, because it's facing backwards and that just then we're gonna have more turrets. If I delete the forward one, it will have more facing backwards than forwards, which always just some reason, I don't know why the middle one has to face backwards. The middle one over here face forward. Why can't this one face forward? It just doesn't work that way. But needless to say, this is there's no way we can get this to work. What if we decreased it? Can I do shift? Is this going to work now? What if I decreased these all down to triple turrets? I know that that's not really the that nah, it's not really the spirit of it. Let's go down to just torpedo production two, which seems insane, but it does save us so much weight. 
Um, let's lower the turret armor because that is making a huge difference. Holy goodness. Let's lower it to 10. I just don't want to get destroyed from flash fires though, so. All right, and we'll raise the tonnage. It can be built at 42,000. Wow. I'm speechless. Can I get Torpedo Protection 3 for an extra? I really, really, really want Torpedo Protection 3. You don't understand. Like, how much is the belt even changing at this point? It's only... Yeah, it's 250 a tick. Doesn't... Okay, no, we're knocking the Condor tower down to 7 as well. So I don't care. We're doing it. We're going up to... 43.50. Okay, fine. And... Conning tower up, I guess. 8.5. Okay, fair enough. So this is the design. This is the crazy... Oh, God. We're limited to 42,000. We're actually limited to 42,000. Okay, so we have a hard limit. This is going to make things interesting. We can do it. Let's do a 9.5 at the minimum, right? Gosh. Darn it. Went down to 90. We can actually do this. 90 might be enough at 16 inch guns. It's the slowest rate of fire. Oh my god, turrets of 9.5 is so horrible. I that We have to go low on the turret though. We have to find out what happens if you do it. We have to. We have to find out is 9, for example, enough to block incoming shells. I mean, 9 is not... 9 is actually going to... Let's do 9.5. Because I, I basically don't want to be susceptible to even like 7-inch guns. Or, you know, if they get lucky. I basically want... The turrets should be impregnable to anything that is not a capital ship size gun. Which does include being um, susceptible to armored cruisers. I'm okay with that. 10-inch guns, I'm okay with not being resistant to, even at the turret level. But... You gotta, you gotta think. I mean, there's six turrets on this thing. I don't remember if Rule the Waves <laughs> models damage based on, uh, or, or like increases your chance of explosion based on turrets. I thought for a while, because Frederick actually said at some point, I believe, that it was, or no, it wasn't, and that he would add it in to Rule the Waves 2 or something like that. But at another point, I believe he corrected himself, or didn't he didn't say he was correcting himself. He just said, no, it's it's always been that it's, you're more likely to be hit in the turret if you have more turrets. Anyway, we have 127 left over. And if we drop our useless conning tower down to 4 inches, which is a little embarrassing, we can get 95 rounds per gun. And that sounds not good for me because actually the conning tower I forgot in my simulator is very important it's overused but 10 okay this is fine so so there we have it there's the Ostfriesland dun, 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 dun. all or nothing very important a lot of people in this in the tournament forgot about this normal complement lots of 16 inch guns so yeah let's go see how this thing performs let's go do it by the way, I guess I could have gotten away with less 5-inch guns, but no, Brian, it's fine. Let's save it. We're going to build it. This is it. It's going to be very expensive. <laughs> uh, we'll build two. Okay, good. The Brandenburgs are going to be back, and these will be back in five months, so we're okay. We will we can probably step it up beyond that even. Oops. Budget tension. I like that. So I do want to fight with these ships once. Oh, hey, that's terrible. I don't want that, but fine, whatever. First of all, we have these ships everywhere. I actually don't want them everywhere. <laughs> I don't care about my battleships, but okay. So we, I suppose we probably now need stuff in the Caribbean. Yeah, we do. Damn it. Can I sell it? I'd like to sell my colony. 
Ugh, instead of doing that, I'll probably improve the base. Base capacity of 10, yeah, we will need to improve that. If we want to fight in the Caribbean, it's, it's just necessary. Um, we probably have good base capacity everywhere now. Mediterranean, what? We have base capacity? How do we have base capacity? We don't, I don't know how we do. 46 in the Indian Ocean, that's pretty poor. That's 20 here. Oops. Six. Ten. So let's increase this one. So we have a little bit more tonnage over there. We don't need Southeast Asia. I'm sure we're fine there. 149, yeah. So that one's fine. And Northeast Asia is at 200, which is even better. Fantastic. Okay, good. So we don't know who we're going to go to war with next, but, but somebody. It'll be somebody. We know it'll be somebody. By all means... And please, actually, I need more of these ships. I need more of these ships. We need more. I know that that's not good, but... Okay, good. Oh, we're down to only 4 million now. All right, this is fantastic. No. We don't care about your lowering of tensions. Well, we don't really want to go to war with Italy, but whatever. Excellent. Oh my god. Oh no, not Italy. Please, not Italy. Please. Also, we really want one of these out. We need 23 more months of peace. Uh, I don't think intelligence is going to do anything for us against France. I would prefer to be friends with it. Whatever. Okay. Damn it. Anyhow, we. it looks like we have to go one more episode to really call this one out. But I can probably record that Monday night tonight basically yeah and then we can post that tuesday morning the last thing of rule the waves okay uh he wants us to build that well okay of course because it'll give us money and then we actually we have the money to build it my god okay we'll just build some submarines then we'll get these how many 21 god that's a lot actually why is it 21? That's so weird. You're going to make me do this three times? Why couldn't it have just been 20? Okay, it's all set. We're all good. We're barely negative in budget, which means basically, essentially, I can build another one of these. <laughs> I don't think they're going to get into war in time because the tensions are going up. But we got to call this... Oh, advanced director. We have to redo the entire fleet you know what forget it <laughs> i don't want to redo the whole fleet but i'm going to call this video to a close here so the next one we're going to try to see if the turret farm actually works in game i hope to god we can make it that far get into war get into an actual battle with them i will try to put them on the front lines wherever possible they're going to need a support i just realized we're going to have to design a light cruiser to support them but we'll do all that in the next episode until then thanks for watching and take care